Let's work on the rotation of the first person controller. Let's work on a rotation. Before we begin, let's take a look at how the player rotation will work. There are two rotational directions. The vertical direction, which is up and down, and horizontal rotation, which is left to right. For horizontal rotation, it will be applied to the roots objects. That means the roots player objects will rotate horizontally. And for vertical rotation, it will be only applied to the head child object because we want the root object to always point upwards. So now let's fire up our script. So normally for first person games, the mouse cursor will be locked in the center and it is hidden from the player. So to achieve this, we will write some code inside the start method. So first we have to make it invisible. To do this, we simply write cursor.visible equals to false. This hides the mouse cursor. And then we will use the cursor.lock state property and we will set it to cursor lock mode dot locked. This locks the mouse cursor in the center of the screen so that the player can infinitely rotate. After that, let's go to the update method and we will work on a horizontal rotation. So for the horizontal rotation, we will simply use the transform.rotate method. And we are rotating about the y-axis. So vector3.up times input.getAxis mouse x and I'll multiply it by 2 to make it faster. This takes the mouse x input axis as the rotation input. And for vertical rotation, I will introduce a new function called restrict angle. You can go ahead and copy this code and use it in your first person controller. So let's work on the vertical rotation. So this time we are dealing with the head transform object, which has the camera inside of it. So we will use the late update method. Inside the late update method, we will work on the vertical rotation. And here we will define a new vector 3. And I'll give it a name of E. And this should equal to the head.order angles. So we will modify the X property of the order angles and we'll subtract input.getAxis mouse Y here and again our times 2 so to make it rotate faster. And then we have to make use of the restrict angle. So we will set the X property of E to the restrict angle and the first parameter will simply pass e.x and then for the minimum angle and the maximum angle I would use minus 85 degrees and 85 degrees respectively and finally we will apply the new vector back to the hat.euler angles so we will simply do hat.euler angles equals to e Let's save the script and go back to the editor. So let's play the game. And as you can see, the mouse cursor is hidden and it's locked in the center. And the player is now able to rotate around freely. And it can look up and down while the vertical angle is restricted. So here we have another problem. When we now rotate the player horizontally, 
the movement will be in the wrong direction. This is something to do with the movement code in the last episode. Let's go back to our player controller script. So for the line R beat of velocity equals to new velocity, we simply add transform.transform .transform direction. This converts the new velocity vector from local space to global space. And now let's save the script and go back to Unity. And now when we rotate the player, the movement direction will be correct. And now we have completed the rotation of the player controller. In the next episode, we'll work on the jumping feature. I'm Neil Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned!